Okay. Do you have any cards to lay down? I, uh... I don't know, man. What do you mean? I mean, I, I don't know if I have a set or not. I mean, I'm freaking out. This is, this is too much. This is too much. Hey, smack out of it. Now, there's a lot of people depending on us to find this cure. Do not give up on those people. Now, do you have a set to lay down? All right. Well, all right. Pandemic is a cooperative game from Z-Man Games. The same people who made Citadels and Mice and Mystics. Hmm, maybe I'll get to this one day. I digress. This game is widely acclaimed across the globe, winning awards from Origins and was a finalist for a Trick Track in 2009. But, does it hold up 11 years later? Let's dig in and see. Starting out, you pass out roll cards to each player. These cards designate your specific job and position on your team. They all have special actions, giving you a specific in-game edge. Everyone begins at the center of disease control in Atlanta. Now it's time to infect the world. You draw three sets of three infection cards. The first set gets three disease cubes, the second gets two, and the last set gets one cube. Next, you pass out player cards. Mainly, you can use these cards to find cures and fly instantly to that specific city. There are also a handful of special free action cards that can help you out in a pinch. And trust me, you're gonna want them. Players take their turn by taking four different actions. One choice is movement along the highlighted paths. If you land on a city matching a player card in your hand, you can use that action to fly to any city on the board or place a research station in that city. You can also move between the research stations as an action of movement. After your four actions are used up, you draw two player cards, and then draw to infect more cities across the map. Ah, oh, crap. It's an epidemic card. Ready for things to get a whole lot worse? When you draw these little bastards, you have to increase the number of infection cards you draw. Then you take the bottom card from the deck and place three cubes on that sift. Now if that wasn't enough, now you have to shuffle the discard pile and place them on top of the infection deck. This can lead to outbreaks, which sucks. If you have to infect a city with three disease cubes, then each connecting city is infected instead. Stay on top of those, because if you get too many, the disease gets too infectious and everybody loses. But wait, if you run out of any type of disease cubes, the disease gets too overpowering and everybody loses again. But wait, if you run out of player cards, then you're simply out of time. So. How do we beat the odds and win? Do you find cures? You have to play five cards of one color at a research station to get that color of cure. Four cures, you save humanity and win. This is probably one of my favorite games in my collection. Is it hard? Holy God, it can get nasty. But that's where the game shines through with its teamwork mechanic. It relies heavily on decision making, prioritizing, and relying on your teammates and their special actions. It's simple, easy to learn, and the artwork, oh my god. It looks like it belongs on a disaster movie poster. Oh yeah, it's awesome. We wanted to take a quick minute to say thank you. Thank you to those who are on the front lines every day. Firemen, nurses, doctors, policemen, everybody who wears one of these, you're the real heroes. And we wanted to say thank you. We dedicate this video and this review to all of you. Stay excellent. Stay awesome.